What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Collecting and Hobbies Presents Wrestling Figure Review. So today we're going to do a couple of uh, $5 pickups that I got at 5 Below and review them. And that's Trish Stratus, the former record-holding women's champion, and now the new... 10 time women's champion. And we got Carmella here to uh, demonstrate something later on. <laughs> so, probably like, what? <laughs> You'll find out very soon. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and crack these suckers open. Let's see which one came out first. Oh, these are both from the same assortment, actually. So, um, today's November 1st. No, wait. November 4th, 5th, so, I don't know. Something like that. I picked these up last week. Or I picked up Charlotte last week. Picked up Trish the week before. October 23rd. October 29th. <laughs> I just actually remember that. But, um, so here's the figures in the set. And I have not seen Kevin Nash in the set. I mean, as far as that five below, he's always been sold out. I've only seen one Elias so far. And I've only seen three Trishes and three Charlottes. Um, I've seen five Matt Hardys. And I've seen four John Cena's. So these things sell pretty fast. Especially at five bucks, which is basically half price. So... Um, let's go ahead and start with the Hall of Famer, Trish Stratus. So, here's your packaging. Trish Stratus. There's a sticker, five below. There's a picture. And that's it. And I'll show you why Carmella's here in just a second. So, let's get uh, Trish open. And... Very soon, within the first, within the next few videos, I'll be doing a uh, top figures of 2019 list or something. Very soon. Uh, I gotta open some more figures first. <laughs> I don't have that many figures open. I don't even know if I have 20 figures open. I think I do. Maybe. So there's the Canada Maple Leaf. Um, no pain issues there on her leg. And right there on this leg. But for five bucks, okay. That's all right. <laughs> um, here's her face print. That looks a lot like Trish. It kind of looks like an animated version of Trish. But good enough. I think it looks a lot like Trish. I think it looks pretty good. She's got really long hair down the back. So I'm not sure if you're going to get much articulation out of the head. Now, well, as you can see, it moves a little. Uh, yeah. I mean, for... I don't know what it is about the WWE figures, but they real even though they're on ball joints, they barely move their heads. At least for the uh, women, because of the hair. But... Here's her regular articulation, which goes up further than a full T. And uh, this is why Carmella's here, actually. She's got the newer style articulation that's only been around for about a year. She does not have swivel cuts at the thighs like Carmella does. She doesn't have any kind of torso crunch like Carmella does. She has no bicep swivel like Carmella but she has different types of elbows, which actually 
you can swivel them this way or you can you know move them up and down like Carmella and the only other difference between Carmella is uh, they have ankle joints so and so Charlotte will be probably will have the same kind of articulation as Trish because she's also a nerve figure and uh, you got boot cut articulation you got knee joints um, those wow I mean I think you do or maybe you don't I'm not really sure <laughs> I would have thought you did. Um, these knee pads are on there so tight that, yeah, there is a joint down there. Okay. Yeah, these, these knee joints are on there. I mean, these knee pads are so skin tight. They cover up the, Cover up the joint. Okay, there you go. You can move it down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You can move it down. See your real knee there. But yeah, I was going to say, those are so tight. You can't even move. And um, for some reason, she's not getting much of a kick up. A little bit. For some reason, she's got thicker legs, it looks like. Yeah, much thicker legs than Carmella here. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've never seen such a low uh, kick. But she does splits from those ball joints relatively well sorta huh I never noticed that before I don't think Trish is Trish I don't think she's thick down there or thicker but and then she's got her painted glove so overall the paint job it's about uh, eight and a half because this is all messed up and yeah but I did pick the best one that I've seen so far because last the next time I went there they had two of these one of them had better paint than the other one of them had kind of smudges on it in the eyes but I like this Trish even though it's not her most iconic outfit I mean I remember this outfit but uh, and I'm not a fan of the Bailey syndrome here. I don't understand why they even make this mold. I don't think there's any body. <laughs> uh, Zelina Vega, maybe. There's not very many f females, period, that even have that. That would even, I mean, function for a regular. Mold. I really don't get it. Uh, most people don't actually. I know a lot of people complain about that. They call it the Bailey syndrome because Bailey's always on that mold. All right. So the next one we got is Charlotte Flair. So this is from her WrestleMania. I think this is from the time when she beat uh, Asuka. At WrestleMania, just in case you haven't seen it, I won't say why <laughs> that was significant. Well, if you're a wrestling fan, you know by now. But uh, yeah, that was the streak versus the title. But since I already said that she won, now you already know what I'm talking about. All right. I forgot to bring out some more Charlotte figures. I'll have to do that in a minute. I've been wanting this one for a while. Just because I like the gold costume. <clears throat> I 
I've been wanting this one ever since, ever since I saw Charlotte wear this costume. I've been like, us hoping that they make a figure of this. I see she has a little bit higher of a kick. Oh, that's way better, I think, than uh, Miss Stratus over there. But, okay, so look at that paint job. It looks good. Looking good in the memory of your life. Something like that. Um, they didn't put the cross. They didn't finish out the cross right there that they normally do on the other figures. A uh, little patience tattoo right there on her arm. She should have a heart on this side. Yep. And... Yeah, the boots are all painted. She's got completely different knee pads, but she's also got knee, these exact same knee pads on, I think, all of her figures. Her legs feel a little different. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Trisha's, see, uh, she's got shorter legs. Shorter so they're thicker. She's got a different body mold. Uh, this Charlotte actually, this is, I believe, molded, yeah, this is all molded detail. So this is exclusively for Charlotte. They probably knew that they were going to make a lot of Charlotte figures, so they went ahead and did that. Um, now, she's supposed to have these little glitter things on her face and they had another figure there they only had two of these and one of them looked better than the other so I picked this one it's hard to see the details in her face for some reason I don't know why but kinda or at least it, there we go it kinda looks like her but it's kinda in a way doesn't I think it's because of the hair, the way the hair is sculpted. Um, I don't know, she looks older <laughs> than what she should be, I think. And there's a couple of paint splotches there. They're not molded in there. But, I mean, technically you could, you could just pretend like, uh, you know, during the match some of that glitter came off. But uh, all the other ones I've seen, they didn't have that. But I chose this one because the head was better. So the face looked better. And it, quite frankly, it looks kind of weird. It doesn't look as good to me as some of her other releases. Her head does swivel all the way around, as you can see. Because um, the hair doesn't... It's a little bit... It's more rubbery down here, so it gets out of the way. So you can hit it, move her head all the way around. And as you see multiple times, her waist. Uh, she's got the same articulation as Trish. Um, everything's same there. And she does have knee joints, but these knee pads are really big. Let's see if I can pull them down. Yep, you can pull them down and bend her knees. Hmm. I'm not really sure if that's supposed to go like that. Still haven't figured that out. I don't think so. I'm not going to try it. But, and she has swivels at the boot cut. So I'll get out a couple more Charlottes real quick. That's cool though that you can push that knee pad down. She does that sometimes. She wants to drop a hard knee on you. This one's more, uh, well, you can loosen it up by moving it around certain directions. It makes it a little bit tighter. Just out of curiosity. Let's see their alarms. Huh. 
The arms do seem different. See, if you look at her shoulders, you can't see the cut for the articulation on Charlotte Flair, but you can on Trish Stratus. And the arms, I believe, hard to tell, but they do kind of look, they should be longer. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. I'm just curious if they have longer. Charlotte has longer arms because she technically she should. I think they're the same size. This one's a little warped. Her left finger is uh, running into all the other fingers. So they have the same, looks like they have the same body, as in, no, Charlotte's got a little bit more neck joint, I think, maybe. They're about the same, though, from the waist up, almost, not quite, but well, the real difference is the legs. She has longer, thinner legs. Because I think Trish Stratus is about 5'5", five, five, maybe. And Charlotte's like, I think 5'10". Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference there. <laughs> Alright, before this gets too long, I'll get out another Charlotte compared to that. Alright, here's the only other Charlotte I have that's actually open. Now... Compare their heads, face sculpts. Actually, the hair looks the same. Somehow, see how much different this one looks? This one is not using um, face print technology, I don't believe. And this one is. That's why... It's very, very different. There's an inkjet printer that paints the lips and the eyes, the eyebrows. This one is, you know, your regular way. So I think, even though this one technically should be more accurate, I actually like this one better. <laughs> A lot better as far as the face goes. I think it's more accurate, or at least it's easier to see. And it's, like I said, she's got the same kind of knee pads. And she wears this blue robe over top of this sometimes, too. And that's about it. Um, and this is what I mean by... Bailey syndrome. See, she's got the same kind of. Even though this is before. See, they're still using that old sculpt. They just combined it into one piece. But this is why they call it Bailey syndrome. Because it looks like she's wearing a bra and her cleavage is painted. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe they should just make... They should tighten that up a little bit. Because Bailey's costume is just a little bit different than that anyway. It's just a little bit uh, less exposed. And... I mean... Well, no... Page is different. I'm looking at other figures. Anyway. See, this is what they should have done with Trish. See, this is just plain. It's just paint. Still got the belly button there, but... See, there's no real... 
sculpt to the top. It's just painted on. All right, so I think I've taken up enough time. It's about 20 minutes. But yeah, that's definitely what they should do. And if Mattel, if you're watching, you should you should do that. And I mean, here's Elisa Fox. I think that's the same mold technically in the front, but in the back, it's just paint. All right, guys. That's my review of uh, Trish Stratus and Charlotte Flair. You can get these figures over at uh, Big Lots. I mean, not Big Lots. Well, you get Elisa Big Lots for 10 bucks. But if you uh, check out your five belows, I go in there like every week or so. Because they, they restock pretty much every week. But um, they pretty much get the same ones over and over. For you know a little while until they run out of that and then they move on to something else and uh, here's Becky Lynch um, her legs are kind of thick too and go up but anyway um, yeah so go check out your five belows and if you don't have the they don't have the assortment you know you're looking for five bucks check back next the week after you know just keep on checking back as soon as that stock depletes they'll get more and they'll probably get a different series um they've been getting wrestlemania and series 89 for my store uh now on the east coast they're getting series 95 which has the sony deville chase figure and um um before that, they were getting Series 70 and the NXT uh, Target Exclusive Basics uh, at my store. So, I hope they get more 70s. I might pick up another Brie Bella or another 71, Lead 71. I might pick up, I don't know, I already got Charlotte from 71. I just haven't opened her yet. But, uh, I'll be doing those top 10 reviews or top 20 or something soon. Um, all right, so I'll see you guys on the next video.